Hello and welcome to the Film Story Recap Channel. This is definitely the most exciting Korean horror movie of 2022. The story is divided into 10 episodes, and each episode is chilling. Today we update the first 5 episodes. Please watch in the company of family members. Episode 1 A Mannequin Chang Chan is a worker in a mannequin factory. They collect mannequins every day. Check the number of mannequins and put them in the warehouse. He had just started work this day, and the old employee told him, when counting mannequins, they are not afraid of the small number of mannequins but mostly afraid of a large number of mannequins. That proves that something is mixed in. As soon as the words left his mouth, Chang Chan was taken aback. A peculiarly shaped mannequin appeared in front of him. The old employee just took a look at it, said it was just an ordinary yoga mannequin. But Chang Chan remembered that when he entered the warehouse, there was no such mannequin. The old employee counted it, and the number was correct. Chang Chan thought he had made a mistake. But right after the two left, the mannequin moved. On the way home, Chang Chan saw a man reprimanding his child. Chang Chan was curious and stopped to see what was going on. The man being reprimanded was craning his neck in a weird position. Chang Chan was directly stunned. He came back to his senses and ran away. He went home and looked up the story of a mannequin on the internet. There is an important tip on the internet. Never look at the mannequin to pretend not to see calmly walked past, but it seems he just might have looked at it. The next day at work, he asked the old employee what to do if there were too many mannequins. The old employee told him to throw away the extra ones. Of course, the two men were ready to move the mannequins back to the warehouse, but then they opened the door and saw a weird mannequin in front of them. The two men were scared and ran away. On the way home, Zhang Chan saw the two men from last night once again. The strange man got up and approached Zhang Chan. Zhang Chan backed up in fear, but the strange man was already in front of him. Zhang Chan ran away. He ran all the way to the subway station. He looked out, and the strange man was already catching up. Although he walked in a strange posture, his speed was not slow at all. The unlucky Zhang Chan ran into a dead end. The strange man appeared behind him and kept approaching Zhang Chan. Zhang Chan was so scared that he pushed the strange man away. The strange man fell to the ground, and his head fell off. Spurting blood furiously, Zhang Chan cursed and rushed to escape. But his body became more and more rigid. He looked down and found that his hands were changing towards a mannequin. The man from before appeared in front of him with a weird smile. Zhang Chan instantly turned into a mannequin. Episode 2 Tooth Worms The story of this episode is a bit disgusting. Please watch with caution if you have a secret phobia or are eating. A man comes to the dentist's office and says his tooth hurts. The dentist examines his gums and finds that they are a little red and swollen. No other abnormalities were found. A photo of the gums revealed numerous white spots at the root. But the doctor had never seen them before either. The doctor gave the patient some painkillers and told him to go home and hang in there and come back tomorrow. In the evening, when the doctor was ready to leave work, he saw that the sink was blocked. Take out the sink and see that it is covered with dense worms. Then the doctor looked at the photos again and found an anomaly. The patient's gums were covered with tiny worms. The next day he went to the library to look for information. He found the information in an old book. It's a parasite called tooth worm. They live near the teeth of humans. They infect the host and lay eggs near the teeth. After the eggs are laid, they are quickly transferred to the human organs and brain. And that's when his assistant called. He didn't see the important reminder on the back. The assistant reminded him that the patient would be here in a few minutes. The doctor returns to the hospital and is a little overwhelmed by the painful patient lying in his bed. He knocks on the glass and asks his assistant to come out with protective gear. Instead, the assistant tells him to come in quickly. He gave the patient anesthesia and the patient finally stopped screaming. The doctor picked up the scalpel and reached into the patient's mouth with a trembling hand. Cut the patient's gums. Using forceps, he peeled back the gums. The inside was full of small, dense worms. The doctor just pinched out a few worms, and the patient convulsed violently. The patient's eyeballs were rapidly filled with worms. Just as the doctor was dazed, the patient got up and bit him on the neck. The assistant hurriedly separated the two, and the patient got up and rushed toward the assistant. The doctor was frightened and rushed back to his office. He felt the worm in the wound, and when he looked in the mirror, he saw that his gums were also full of worms. He picked up a small electric drill. He hesitated but pressed it. Just as he was screaming in pain, the sound of knocking on the door came. 
The aide and the patient were frantically tapping on the door. A sound from outside attracted the attention of both men. The doctor's eyes felt itchy at that moment, looked in the mirror and saw that worms had crawled into his eyes. Then he fell to the ground and convulsed violently. Eventually, he turned into a zombie. Episode 3, Ghost Marriage. Jae-hoon just got a job and married a bride, but this bride is not human. Jae-hoon goes for an interview this day, the manager asks him about his birth date, he even asked him to write his name in Chinese characters. So, Jae-hoon passed the interview with flying colors. When he was taking a shower, a white hand touched his hair. Just as he was bending down to pick up something, a woman appeared beside him, he was lying down on the sofa to rest. One foot was about to walk into the living room, that's when Jae-hoon woke up, the foot that had stepped out retracted. The next day he went to work, and everyone looked at him differently, with nothing else to do. He tried to open a drawer, but accidentally cuts his finger, the manager appeared in time and wrapped his injured finger with a towel. Jae-hoon goes to the file room to look for information and overlooks a file with the finalists written on it. He opened the file and saw that everyone was born on the same day of the same month and year, the only difference is the time of birth, and the most detailed information about himself. Just as he was reading carefully, the manager came over and grabbed the information from his hand. In the meeting room, the manager said it was ready, it will be held in the early morning tomorrow, and Jae-hoon has just returned home, he saw delicious food on the table. He thought that his mother had come to visit. He did not think much about it and ate it directly, but he didn't notice what was under the table. In an odd room, the godmother shakes the bell, wiping the doll's face with a white cloth soaked in Jae Hoon's blood. She turns around and reveals her dark eyes. Jae Hoon, who is sleeping, is sweating profusely. A hand touched his face. Jae Hoon woke up with a start. The light at the door flickers twice. A woman in white enters the room. Jae Hoon couldn't move. The woman stops by Jae-hoon's side. Woman slowly approaches Jae-hoon on the bed. Jae-hoon comes to his senses again to find a bride in red sitting across from him, and the manager was standing not far away. The bride showed a happy smile. He was about to get married to the ghost bride. Episode 4, The Woman in Red. If you see a woman in red staring at you all the time, wouldn't you be scared? Three former classmates are attending Yunji's funeral. They are curious why a person who was about to get married would suddenly commit suicide. One of them says that he heard that Yunji climbed from the outside of the building to the roof and fell to his death. Su Jin asked her classmates who didn't come. Her friend told her that only Hyunju was absent from the class. Su Jin remembered this person, and she even said something bad about her. When she was going home, she saw a woman in red in the parking lot. She stood in the shadows staring at Su Jin with a deadly stare. Back home, she visited her neighbors, asked if she had seen a woman in red. The neighbor said she hadn't seen, but as Su Jin was walking back to her house, she felt someone behind her. She turned around and saw the woman in red standing at the end of the hallway. Su Jin hurriedly opened the door of the room and ran in. The woman in red suddenly appeared when she looked out from the monitor at the door. It turned out to be just a dream. While working, she saw a photo album from her college days. When she opened the album, it reminded her of a classmate named Hyunju. When she went to work, she once again saw the woman in red in the parking lot. This time, Su Jin speaks up. She asked the woman in red what she really wanted to do. The woman in red did not answer. She was about to go up to her and ask her. A car drove past her. At that moment, the woman in red also disappeared. When she chatted with her friend, the friend suddenly said that someone would be unhappy to see how well they were doing now, and said that Yu and Yunji were especially mean to Hyunju at first. In the elevator where she was going home, the elevator stopped on the third floor. The elevator door opened, and the woman in red stood motionless in the doorway. Su Jin hurriedly closes the elevator. The elevator stops again on the sixth floor, and the woman in red is still standing in the doorway. Su Jin closed the elevator with fear and trepidation. The eighth floor is here. The woman in red was still standing there, but this time, she seemed to be trying to get into the elevator. Su Jin rushed straight out. She went back to the front door of her home. The code could not be opened several times. The woman in red had come to her side. Su Jin can only run for her life upstairs. The woman in red is chasing after her, but the door on this floor wouldn't open. The woman in red is standing behind her. She turned around, and the woman in red disappeared. Su Jin rushed out of the building. She looked for a place she thought was safe. She tried to call for help. Suddenly, 
The woman in red grabbed her by the hair and climbed towards the roof. Her fingernails fell off. And she didn't even know it. The woman in red lifted her up. Su Jin recognized the woman in red as his classmate Hyunju. Hyunju just let go. It turns out that Hyunju was often bullied by Su Jin and Yunji when she was alive. Which led to her suicide. She turned into an evil spirit and came to take revenge. Episode 5. The Wall. Ghost stories often start with a move. This episode is no exception. Zhang Jian has just moved into a new house today. He wanted to have a good rest. But the sound of banging on the wall came from next door. At first, he was able to tolerate it. But the pounding doesn't stop. Zhang Jian fought back angrily, but to no avail. He could only console himself. But the pounding continued throughout the night. The next day he was dazed and ready to go to work. Then a beautiful woman enters the elevator. They chatted and learned that she lived next door. The room where someone was banging on the wall. The pretty girl exits the elevator and drops a silk scarf on the floor. Zhang Jian came home at night and just laid down on the couch. The banging sound came from the wall again. Zhang Jian thinks it's a beautiful neighbor looking for him and he starts hitting on her. No matter what he says, there's just a knocking sound. Zhang Jian said he wanted to invite the pretty girl to dinner. Two knocks on the wall come from the other side in response. This made Zhang Jian very happy. The next day, just after he left the house, he once again saw the beautiful woman. Zhang Jian reminds her that today is the day to invite her to dinner. In the elevator, he tapped on the elevator, but the pretty girl just looked at her with a puzzled look. Zhang Jian couldn't be more embarrassed. It's 10 p.m., and she still hasn't come downstairs. Zhang Jian can't wait any longer. He went to her house and knocked on the door in the name of returning the silk scarf. But he found the door unlocked. He went into the room and saw the table piled up with all kinds of receipts. And the wall next to him is a closet. Zhang Jian tried knocking a few times, but the sound was not right either. He didn't notice that there was a newspaper on the table. It said that the newlyweds had mysteriously disappeared. Back in his room, he stared at the wall with rapt attention. A human face suddenly protrudes from the wall. Zhang Jian is curious and tears off the wallpaper. Behind the wallpaper is a space sealed by a wooden board. The light suddenly goes out. Zhang Jian removed the board. Through the gap, he saw two corpses standing inside. As the boards kept coming off, the two corpses wrapped in plastic sheeting were completely revealed. The hand of one of the corpses was exposed. Zhang Jian reached out and touched it, but the body moved. Zhang Jian was so scared that he sat on the floor. The room suddenly shook. The roof kept cracking. Zhang Jian tried to escape. But the door wouldn't open. His neck seemed to be choked by someone. Zhang Jian was lifted up and taken into the underworld. The remaining five episodes will be updated tomorrow. Please subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.